on, uh, from our Building and Grounds Committee. Our committee was formed in May, and we were asked to survey our property and both buildings um, to identify areas needing repairs and improvements, uh, to prioritize those items, and then receive pricing for the work. Uh, so the list uh, quickly got quite long, and so we prioritized those into first priority, second priority, and third priority items. The first priority uh, list included repairs to critical systems like heating and cooling, um, structural repairs, and other safety concerns that, that we saw. Um, and fortunately, with the approval of the admin team, all of our first priority projects um, have been fully funded and they are in progress. Now, relating to the property, um, we have uh, contracted with a local fence company to replace the fence that goes around our playground. Um, uh, and we're just really waiting for our turn um, in their schedule to have that work done. Uh, you may have noticed this summer that we had some major tree trimming done and uh, several trees had to be removed because of their poor condition. Uh, so as we move forward, uh, we want to implement a tree replacement plan uh, so that in the next decade or so we don't end up uh, basically treeless. And so um, that's something that will be happening in our second phase, in our second priority. Um, we also want to um, create a master plan for our property. And some of the ideas that we have received have been things like um, oh, a prayer garden, outdoor meeting spaces, improvement to the paths that go through our wooded area. Um, we have retained a mechanical electrical engineering firm uh, to evaluate the heating and cooling systems throughout our entire building. And uh, no surprise, all but two of the units have far exceeded their anticipated service life. Um, and so uh, that's something that we'll be addressing as we go on is how do we replace those and in what order. Um, the engineers are now in the process of preparing design documents uh, so that we can receive bids for the replacement of the broken uh, unit that serves half of the gym. Uh, it's located in, this is just like right there, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I keep seeing it. Um, it's located above the ceiling in the kitchen, and so once that work is completed, then we're going to be getting input from the different groups uh, that use the kitchen so we can update the layout and the equipment and storage so it'll better serve the way that our kitchen is used today. Now tomorrow, weather permitting, um, they're going to be uh, starting on the repair of this laminated beam right up above us. Um, evidently, since the beginning of time, that has leaked. Water's coming in between the bottom sill of the window and dripping down on the, on, uh, the beam and, and occa on occasionally on Terry. Yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Which, since we're getting a new minister, we thought, okay, it's time to, time to fix that one. But so, um, so what they're going to do, uh, there will be, uh, you may have noticed when you came in, there is a little bit of scaffolding outside to give them access to the roof. They're going to uh, remove the stained glass windows up above us. They'll temporarily close those openings. Uh, and then the, the firm that's going to actually do the repairs, the top five inches of that beam uh, has deterioration in the wood. So they're going to remove that wood, replace it, restain it, then properly flash the outside of that so that the water no longer comes in and then replace the stained glass windows. Um, and with all that work going on, uh, there will be scaffolding up in front here. So next Sunday, we're going to be meeting in the gym. And um, the good news on that is uh, that uh, we will have a full, a new full audio video system uh, with DVD and CD presentation ability in that space. Um, to address the sound issues that have really kept us from using that space fully for years. Um, it, it's been something that has plagued us from, again, uh, from the beginning of that addition to the, to the building. Um, this week, we're also going to see the egress landing right outside that door. Um, they're going to start replacing that. Uh, they took it apart a couple weeks ago. They've poured uh, new uh, column bases so that the steel columns will be raised um, up some and hopefully uh, not get the uh, water that they've uh, been dealing with. And that's probably going to take a couple more weeks to get that completed. Um, now, uh, I saved the best for last, and that is that um, what we have affectionately called phase doors are, uh, going, are finally becoming a reality. 
So yes, yes, we're all very excited about that one. Um, we've received uh, bids for the replacement of all three of the front doors. Um, the very, very rusted hollow metal frames and doors are gonna be completely removed and they'll be replaced with aluminum, aluminum and glass units. The glass, uh, it'll be a dark bronze um, anodized aluminum, so it'll, it'll match the, the framing that we have in the rest of the building. Um, but the glass itself then will have an, um, some artwork um, etched design on it, and that etching will match, well, it won't match, but it is going to uh, correspond with the etching that's in this glass that's up in this uh, transom at the rear of the sanctuary. And then there'll be some blue glass elements that will be incorporated in, into the design of that to bring up the blue glass that's, uh, bring out the blue glass that's in this window and in the stained glass that's behind the platform. Um, now, the, uh, the doors have been ordered um, and they have begun on the artwork. We don't have the design for that yet. Um, but between uh, getting that artwork done and receiving materials, uh, the doors will take about eight weeks probably to get in. Uh, so we are probably looking at January or February before we actually see the, uh, that work um, completed. So what's happening now is happening remotely, but it is progressing. Um, and, I and so with that, um, that completes. There have been uh, some other things that have been going on um, uh, throughout the building, uh, repairs and replacements as part of maintenance. But that basically completes our first priority list, and then we'll be ready to move on to our second priority list. Um, our building gets a lot of use, and um, it provides us with a space uh, for worship and study and to fulfill the many, many wholeness ministries that we've supported over the years. Um, things like the Build-A-Bed project that recently happened, Operation Christmas, child care, and the, and the list goes on and on. But what makes a church is the people and the work that we do as the hands and feet of God. But our building is the light on the hill to those we serve. Thank you.